Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. Today I want to talk to you about this mystery plant. Now I'm pretty sure that this fairy plant holds the world record for the number of different genus and also species names in the whole houseplant world. I just had a quick look on the internet and after 10 minutes I already found more than 15 different genus and or species names for this single plant. Now as a plant hobbyist I found this confusion actually quite intriguing. So in this video I want to discuss with you what this plant could be and at the end of the video I will give you my personal opinion about the correct name for this plant. By the way don't forget to like or subscribe if you found this video informative. Now to keep things simple I will mainly try to answer the genus question which means is this mystery plant a monstera, a philodendron or an epipremnum. So if you're ready, let's play Plant Detective. First of all, I want to show you a picture of the mystery plant on the day it arrived at my place, which is the 6th of December 2020. So I have this plant under my care for a bit less than one year and a half now. I paid 17 euros for it and it was sold to me as an Epipremnum Pinatum Marble Planet. But is it indeed an Epipremnum or is it something else? Let's find out. So even if this plant was sold to me as an epipremnum, most people, sellers and websites will call this plant actually a monstera, more specifically a monstera sp peru or a monstera carsteniana. To me this is very intriguing since monsteras are native to the Americas whereas epipremnums are native to a whole different part of the world being Asia and also the Pacific. So how is this confusion possible? Now, what you see here is the mystery plant on the right, and on the left we have a real monstera, which is the monstera pinatipartita. And when you look at both plants, at first sight you might think they look somewhat the same or similar, so I can understand the confusion. But if you look more closer, you will actually notice a lot of differences. For instance, the color and topography of the leaves, the thickness of the stems and the growing patterns are actually quite different. Now let's compare our mystery plant with yet another monstera. Here you see again the mystery plant on the right and on the left we have another real monstera which is the monstera aureo pinata. Now here things get really tricky because here the leaf color is actually quite the same and also the topography on the leaves looks quite similar on both plants. So based on this comparison, one could say our mystery plant is indeed a monstera and not an epipremnum. But for the time being, let's keep the option open that our mystery plant could be or a monstera or an epipremnum. Now in the beginning of this video, I told you that a lot of websites and even professional sellers call our mystery plant a philodendron. Namely, they call it the philodendron opacum. You might know that in some previous videos I talked about the fact that a lot of sellers actually don't have a clue what exact plants they are selling. They only care that you buy the plant regardless of its name, they just copy each other's description of plants and so you end up with a lot of sellers calling our mystery plant here a philodendron opacum. Now in my opinion this plant is definitely not a philodendron. First of all, this mystery plant obviously has no cataphylls. And cataphylls, you might know, are those shield-like leaves that protect newly forming leaves on philodendrons. So to me, that's the first clue that we are not dealing with a philodendron here. The second reason is that our mystery plant continuously produces these very long and slim runners, which is way more typical of monsteras or epipremnums and not of philodendrons. So I think we can exclude that our plant here is a philodendron. And let me show you more up close those very long and thin runners. You can see them here at the back of the pot. They are so long that I sometimes just wrap them around the pot, as you can see here. And sometimes I just cut them off to propagate this mystery plant. Now that we have excluded that our plant could be a philodendron, let's go back to the question whether it's a monstera or an epipremnum. Now, you might know that both monsteras and epipremnums can produce fenestrated leaves when the plant becomes more adult. But the strange thing with my mystery plant is that it's just not happening. 
even though it has been growing for one year and a half, and even though its biggest leaf is almost as big as my hand, as you can see. So if any of you own this plant, and if you have a specimen with fenestrated leaves, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know whether the leaves eventually do fenestrate or not. Now, is it a Monstera or is it an Epipremnum? To be honest, I'm not 100% sure, but I can tell you that quite a few Dutch websites mention that it is in fact a cultivar of Epipremnum pinatum. As you might know, a cultivar is a plant produced in human cultivation by selective breeding. And it appears that this cultivar was produced by a Dutch company specialized in exotic plants. Now, I tend to believe that our mystery plant is indeed an epipremnum, mainly based on the fact that it produces these very long, thin runners, and also based on the fact that when you have a look at other epipremnums, like Cebu Blue or Skeleton Key, you can see the resemblance with our mystery plant. Now, I'm definitely not a botanist, so this is just my personal opinion. So if you agree or if you disagree, please let me know in the comment section. Because this golden monkey that you can see here hanging onto a runner would love to know the name of its favorite plant. That's all for today. Please like and subscribe if you like this video and if you want to see more plant detective videos. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye bye.